using the Discussion Tool Demo. In this demo, you will learn how to navigate and use the Discussion Tool in Desire to Learn. At the end of this demo, you will know how to find and reply to topics in your Desire to Learn course. First, log in to your Desire to Learn account and go into your course. Once inside of your course, choose the discussion link on the gray course navigation bar. You will enter into the discussion list tab, which shows all the discussion forms and topics. First, click on the settings link in the top right of your screen. Ensure that there is a check mark in the first block, Personal Settings, Display Settings, that says Show the Discussion Topics List. Also, you can decide whether or not to include the original message in your replies. Most of the time, you will not want this option checked. Click the Save button at the bottom of the page. You are now back at the main discussion page. You can filter messages by selecting to view unread messages. Under the title of the overall form, there may be some directions that apply to all of the topics listed under the form. To hide or show all the topics under a particular form, click on the arrow below the title. Under each of the topic title, there may be some directions that apply only to the topic. The next columns tell you how many threads are in the topic how many posts there were, and how many posts you have not read. To compose or read a discussion message, click on the title of the discussion topic you want to open. You will notice that once you open a topic, all of the forms remain visible on the left side of the page. Each form has a number beside it to show the number of unread topic messages within that form. The messages in the form will show up on the right. Now you see each thread. Here you have a line that tells you how many messages are unread by you, how many replies have been posted, and how many times the topic has been viewed. You can filter by unread, flagged, and drafts. You can sort by most recent activity, least recent activity, newest thread, oldest thread, author's first name A to Z, author first name Z to A, author last name A to Z, author last name Z to A, highest rated thread, subject A to Z, and subject Z to A. You will also notice the blue line along the side of the thread and posts. This blue line means something is unread in that thread. Once you have read the thread, the blue line will go away.
click on start a new thread button to create a new message. Type in the subject or title in the subject line, then click in the message box to type your message. Notice that you can add attachments such as documents, pictures, spreadsheets, etc. Or add recordings of audio. When you are finished with your message and any attachments, click the post button in the lower left corner. Once you post your message, you will be returned to the main topic that you were in. If you want to go back to the main form, click on the form name on the left side of the page. To go back to the main discussion page, click on the discussion list link on the breadcrumb trail at the top of the page. To reply to someone else's post, you can click on the title of the post, and then click the Reply to Thread button. Type in your message and click the Post button. To go back to the topic page, click View Topic on the breadcrumb trail at the top of the page. Anywhere you see someone's photo, you can move your mouse over that image and you will be given options to contact that person. You have now successfully used the discussion tool.